everyone, this is Josh Elbow. In the video today, I'm going to be going over the trade, my 10th trade of ticker AYX it was a swing trade. Ended up, it was profitable, but it only made $12. But what I learned in this video is something very specific that I think will be, you'll be able to apply if you're a swing trader, day trader, or whatever, to just a general mindset. The purpose of this channel is to introduce our viewers to potential income sources, whether it's an extra $100 a month or $50,000 a year. And the cost that I'm associating to you with this video is to leave a like so that more people can, like you can see it and hopefully change their lives financially as well. So I want you to pay it forward by leaving a like, which helps the algorithm so it gets in front of more people. Without making you wait any longer, get right into the video. The ticker was AYX. I bought it on October 4th, sold out 11 days later. I want to say it spiked after two. No, I guess it didn't, thankfully. Um, AYX on 10-4. Like right in here, let's say. So there was just there was no volatility with this. I believe the main takeaway that I, I'm gonna make this a really quick video is if the if it, the trade isn't good any longer, one Ricky Gutierrez, I want to stand pronouncing that right, talks about you can't go broke or you can't lose money taking like taking profits so i was up 12 bucks whatever it's not about the profit there but I, there was just wasn't enough fluctuation about like there was no volatility uh i don't know why i think i bought it because it was right after the previous couple dips it was probably oversold so i bought it right in here right after the confirmation 10-4 and it just wasn't do anything uh even even uh Bought it 10 4, probably bought it in here and sold it right around here. It just wasn't moving as much as I was expecting it to. I probably learned something new watching the Zip Trader Charlie channel on YouTube and was like, this just isn't a good trade anymore. I happened to be in profit, so I got out of it. So, as well as cutting your losses, not quickly, but when you need to, the main takeaway I went, I got from this, and maybe. I want you to think for yourself too, but the main takeaway that I got from this was if it's not, if you notice something after you're in the trade, especially if you're profitable, it, it can't, it didn't hurt me to get out of it. I ended up making the 12 bucks or whatever, but this part's kind of irrelevant. No way I bought it. Oh, these not, oh, that's my stop loss. I was going to say, so I bought it at 111, sold at 113. So let's say here to probably here-ish, whatever that number was. But it didn't hurt me to get out when it was not moving the way that I was hoping for it to move. I did wait for the confirmation, which was good. Oh, geez, here we go. Um, I waited for the confirmation, but there was, there was just no movement. Um, I was expecting it to move back up to maybe the 150 mark after the dip. It was still above the 180 to SMA. It was just recently oversold like perfectly oversold and then it broke above so i was expecting something waited half a month it didn't do anything so that's why i got out there's my take on this trade again it doesn't hurt to take that profit if the trade is no longer what you foresee to be a good trade if you see something new if you learn something new it's all about like learning and a process and all that shit so there's my take if you need to get a hold of me if you have any business or finance questions i would love to help you out my Instagram is at Elbow. You can shoot me a DM there. And my email is summitsme at gmail.com. Do what I can to get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.